been working all, working all day, girl. Come and take the stress. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a new video for you guys where I will be showing you all how I draw Beauty Forever's Malaysian curly hair, which I don't think this has ever been done before. Like, I got a bundle of hair and I'm teaching y'all how to draw it. Like, that's that's different. Like, <laughs> but I'm just happy that I decided to do this video because I thought it would be super fun. And I can't wait to show you guys my curly drawing hair techniques. And yeah, um, before we start, I'm going to show you guys the two items that I will be using. And it will be the Prismacolor Colorways, which I'll tell you a little bit about in a minute. And then I'll be using this 2B pencil. You don't have to use a 2B pencil. It's optional. You can use a mechanical pencil, whatever pencil you want. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys. Um, I'm really excited for this tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Beauty Forever hair review, which I will have on the links below. And I will put that in the video for you guys to check it out. So, yeah, you guys. I will be showing you all how I draw this lovely Malaysian curly hair. I can't wait to show you all. So, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, before we get started drawing, I just want to show you all my Prismacolor Colorace video for all that have been on my channel for forever. Y'all know that this is the this is the real MVP right here. This is what I use for sketching and it is just great for drawing and I would recommend it for whenever you're sketching anything and then you can just go right over it with the regular graphite pencil so you can, you know, make everything all prep and perfect. So you can make all your mistakes with the pencil first and then yeah. So if you guys are interested in this Prismacolor Colorace, go ahead and check that out. That'll be in my links below. And I'll make sure to mention that in my videos where I use this pencil because I love it so much. So before we start, I started out with like just a little simple face and I just wanted to give you guys like a little tip. What I usually do when it comes to hair, I don't draw out like the whole face first. Um, sometimes what makes it easier is when I actually start out with the frame of the hair. So since we're starting out with curly hair, you know what, I'm going to actually just, you know, make it easier for you guys. We're going to start out with the guidelines. And since like I have no reference picture or anything, I'm just going to pretend like the hair is kind of flowing like this. And that's what's going to guide me. And then the hair is going to come out like around here somewhere. So I'm basically just making out the frame of the hair. And then I'm going to part the hair in the middle. Like my hair was for the review video. And I just think it's really interesting. Like I don't think I've ever seen anyone do <laughs> um, a hair tutorial drawing video featuring actual hair bundles. Like this is going to be like really, really interesting. So now that I have this all sketched out, it's kind of like curly hair is like, it's just, it's different for, you know, everyone. But since this is like really, really curly hair, what I like to do is just kind of, kind of just start out with squiggle lines like this because it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can't go ahead and start out like this because like that's what I would do anyways. I wouldn't start out with the lines, but I thought that would just make it easier and, you know, make sure you, you do your hairline and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make those those squiggle lines right there. And then of course you know you can't forget the part and since we're doing the part you want to make sure you're following the curve of the curl. So this is how I would just sketch out the part. Just go ahead and just sketch that out like this. And like I said in my how to draw hair video, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. It is basically all of the techniques that I use when um, I draw hair and it'll definitely help y'all out like for real for real like I think it's a big help especially if it's an hour long video but yeah this is what I normally do when I draw curly hair I kind of just go like this and sometimes I keep it simple sometimes I, I put details in it but I'm gonna do a little bit more details for this one since I'm showing you all how to draw Beauty Forever hair, and it's very curly, very textured hair. And I don't worry about making it perfect, because curly hair is imperfectly perfect. You know what I'm saying? Or is, is, that, the, is that the, it's imperfectly, it's perfectly imperfect, something like that. You know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's what I would do for that. And then when it comes to the ends, I kind of just, either like I taper it like this, kind of, or I just kind of like, 
do a little something like that. Kind of like little S shapes. But it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. That's why we're using our Prismacolor Colorex pencil. Because then we can, you know, go back in with our... We can go, you know, fix everything with this. You know, erase anything we need to erase. And then at the end, add details with the graphite pencil. That's the beauty of this pencil. I love this pencil. And then, see, that's what I love about, you know, drawing the hair out first. And then I will draw the rest of the face. Because, like, if I'm, you know, drawing hair and it's covering the face, I might as well do the hair first. And then, you know, I don't have to worry about doing, like, the whole face. So it's kind of like, kind of guidelines for the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just doing a really simple drawing for this look and I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna draw the neck and everything because y'all know I'm extra so of course I'm gonna you know do the face the neck and everything you know what I'm saying and I guess I'll just put on my shirt that I had in my other my review video video or whatever okay but yeah that's the basic the basic outline for the curly hair it's not that hard it's simple just don't like think about it too hard you know what I'm saying just go with the flow literally and then with the curly hair um, I actually do this at the end with a graphite but if you're just you know trying to learn you know I would you know go out of the lines and you know add the loose hairs that would naturally come out of it you feel me like that but since we're just doing the outline, um, I'm going to go in and take my 2B graphite pencil, which is um, a darker pencil. So if you want to, you know, stay in the light side, if you have a heavy hand, I would suggest using like a 2H pencil or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and use my 2B pencil and we're going to start, you know, adding the details and everything. And of course, I'm going to go in time lapse after this, but I just want to, you know, show you guys a little bit right here for where the, um, the hairline starts. There's always going to be some hair under this part, you know what I'm saying? And that's always going to be darker. So I just wanted to like let y'all know that. So, so you know, because you know, she ain't bald under there, you know, we ain't bald, you know what I'm saying? There's some hair under there. And then, you know, go ahead and start fleshing out the hair. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of, this is, this is how I draw curly hair. Hold on, let me see, is this zoomed all the way in? This is as much as, I think that's as close as it can get. Or am I tripping? No, yeah, that's as close as it can get. And so I kind of just, okay, let me show y'all like on the side. This is how my motions would be. And you don't have to, you know, just kind of start out light. But these are like the motions that I make, these S-shape motions, just making it tighter, just really tight S-shape motions so we could get that nice Beauty Forever Malaysian curl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is so different. But, um... Yeah, I'm just flushing it out. I'm doing the outlines of it first, and then I kind of just go where I feel like I should go next. There's no like right, you know, there's no like right steps for it. You feel me? And then um, I'm about to show y'all the important step for when it comes to the details and everything. So when I go into the details of the really tight curly hair, um, make sure you're following the flow of the hair. So if it's going this way, you see this curve going this way, follow that curve going that way. And when it comes into this part, like when it come, kind of comes into like the heel, like here, this is the heel and then this is the valley. So then you want to reverse your reverse the curl or reverse the curve and go the opposite direction so you have your heels and your valleys you feel me and so basically you're just following that so when you're drawing curly hair it's basically all about those heels and those valleys like really curly hair like this and it doesn't have to be perfect because you can just go ahead and go back and fix everything that you feel like needs to be fixed when you're done but um, this is how I like to flush out my curly hair so yeah th that was the basics of how to draw really tight curly hair featuring beauty forever malaysian curly so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in time lapse 
fix everything up for you all and if I have any other extra tips that I want to add in I will do that for you all but yeah this is just the basics also when you're going into the dips like when you're <laughs> when you're going from the valley to the hills you can darken it up so you can add depth to it so this is just the beginning stage stages of it so you know you're you know constantly going in you're erasing little details and going back and forth and you know just basically making the hair how you would like until you're satisfied so um, yeah if you guys haven't already go ahead and check out my how to draw hair um, video which if you really want to get into depth like that's if you really want to get into the depth it's an hour-long video and it will show you all of this the um, all of the basic steps of how to draw hair so like you know how to draw any basically any type of hair that you want but I will definitely do more hairstyle videos and all that and everything so yeah you guys <laughs> all right I will um, see you guys at the end of the video and yeah let's get started with that time lapse Okay guys, I wanted to show you guys something. This is literally what I'm doing. So this is literally all you have to do is kind of make like these quick C's right here. And then just, just do the opposite of it. And all you have to do is follow the structure of the outline of the curly hair. So you can do like any type of like curls that you want. Just follow the structure using this technique. And then you have curly hair. And then of course you can go back in, make it more realistic, do whatever you want with it. And then yeah, it's all yours. So I just wanted to show you guys how simple this curly hair drawing technique is. It's just basically making these these strokes of motion and you see how like perfect it is like I I'm just doing that just because I'm showing you all the techniques of it but you can always make it more realistic by making sure that the lines some of the lines are closer to each other or adding in the end like more realistic hairs to it but there's so many different ways you could draw um, curly hair but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that <laughs> Okay, right here I am going in and I'm adding, I'm like connecting them. I'm not adding, but <laughs> I'm like connecting them kind of to make it like a little bit more realistic so it doesn't look so patterny like. And just kind of like, you know, making those, you know, thick lines against the thin. Because, you know, thin and thick, that makes a big difference when you kind of have like that thin and thick type thing going on. But basically the whole technique with the C thing, like the, um you know the hills and the valleys it just really helps you to connect everything in a very organized manner i guess you could say but um yeah i really hope this technique is helping you all and yeah let's continue with the time lapse okay <laughs> basically almost done I'm just showing you guys like where the valleys are I'm just darkening those up so then the hills can really pop you feel me drawing curly hair is like uh, there's so many different ways you can do it 
but I thought this would be perfect because since this is like really curly hair that we're trying to, you know, replicate like this really beautiful nice hair, you know, we got to show that, you know, really curly hair technique. So, all right, after all this is done, go ahead, I'll go ahead and add those loose hairs. Like this is like a really important step. Like this is what really makes the hair look realistic is when you add those loose curly hairs so you can get that more textured and curly look, realistic look. Just kind of like making the hair come like, you know, away from the hair like this. You feel me? So it's like more popping. It's more show popping. And then if you want to, you can erase some of these lines if you want it more realistic. Because, you know, some people like to keep it, you know, cartoony or whatever. Because this is, this is a more realistic curly, I mean, a more cartoony, sorry, my bad. A <laughs> more cartoony um, curly hair look. But that's the good thing about adding and subtracting. Just, you know, go in, erase what you don't like or whatever, and basically the hills and valleys technique basically just really helps you to get to this stage, you know? Because you start somewhere, start small, and then you just keep going bigger, you feel me? Cause you know started from the bottom now we here you feel me <laughs> no oh my gosh that's so old okay i'm not trying to make it super perfect though because i just want to show you guys the basics of this and this technique and really show you guys the texture of this hair because this hair is really beautiful and i want it to really like you know make it pop make it pop you know show popping for like the new videos that I want to come out for you guys like new makeup videos art tutorials art slash makeup videos oh my gosh I'm so excited like ah, I can't wait what like art um art and makeup videos would you guys like to see like together but I have a lot of ideas already like I can't wait to show you guys but um yeah I have so many of course, we can't forget the baby hairs. This is optional because really I kind of covered up the area where I would put the baby hairs, but I like baby hair. beauty forever hair drawing tutorial this was absolutely so much fun to do you guys I really hope that these super curly techniques helped you all don't forget to remember the hills and the valleys and remember all the little things that you can do with these techniques and you know you can always go back in and keep adding more details adding and subtracting and just doing whatever you want to make your hair curl tastic so <laughs> yeah you guys I had so much fun um, doing this video also, you guys, if you're interested in this hair, go ahead and check out my Beauty Forever hair review. Um, I really, really love this hair. Um, it's so super soft and it does not shed a lot, which is like absolutely awesome. And I just really, really love the texture. It's really, really soft. And I'll have everything um, in the description below if you're interested in buying this hair. And I think it's actually, it, it actually could work as like an actual prop for you to use to help you draw hair like you can actually like I never thought about that like but actually buying hair bundles <laughs> to you know help you draw hair like realistically because like you can see the details up close and everything and like the shine and everything I just think that's like 
That is like so funny. Hold on. You could actually like use this for you know helping you to draw hair but yeah you guys I think this was like a super super fun video for me to do um, I have all of the details down below about this hair and if you're interested in getting it and let me know if this um, tutorial was helpful for you guys and thank you all so much for watching this video I love you all so much and stay tuned for more content more videos because I love y'all so much um, I've been recovering from um, surgery these past few days so um, I've been a little behind on my videos but I'm getting back there you guys oh and it was nothing serious so don't worry I'm good and yeah you guys I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you all in my next video Yay! Okay, bye you guys. Peace, love, and God bless. Mwah!